We should be coming in. There we are. Nice. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is September 16th, 2020 and we're doing a comic book reading. We're down to three books. Okay. Uh, that we plan on reading today or the choices that we have. Coolio first. <laughs> nice we got crime does not pay number 116 we got kid cold number 107 and we have exo man of war number one and while we wait until notifications goes out for people to come here uh for the live stream uh cool you're excited for this so am i so what we're down to three and then there were three uh, i set an alarm on my phone so i was here before you <laughs> x how are you doing nice coolio nice fun stuff fun stuff uh what's going on chicho currently in online class ah oh, you're in online class pay attention to your classes forget about the live stream the comic book i'll have the video up on bitchute and youtube in uh, uh probably a couple of days okay so pay attention to your class uh but if you already know the stuff in class and if it's it's up to you you can watch you're gonna watch a comic book reading instead <laughs> elder god how are you doing hope you're doing well i know what you're voting for wait which x-man comic is that no x-men this is exo man of war exo man of war number one yeah exo man of war number one yeah first appearance of exo man of war very important book i love this book actually what's up birdie here how are you doing welcome welcome gang i'm gonna do my little intro um until the notifications goes out uh, because it's early on uh that way we don't have to both notifications sent awesome okay awesome elder god so gang if you want to follow this work i want patreon let me click this up if you want to <laughs> hello mr hezekiah how are you doing hope you're doing well if you want to follow the, this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chy chicho for the longest time i kept on saying backslash and then someone corrected me i was like oh my god for like two years i've been saying backslash chicho and it's forward slash chicho so i'm on patreon if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so if you want to follow this work patreon is a great way to do so and for those who are supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support it is in huge part because of you that we're able to do this work uh so very much appreciated coolio i actually want to get into those older comics from other uh companies beside more uh, coolio i highly recommend oops i highly recommend really i highly highly recommend what's up chicho felix how are you doing um what's up chicho and everyone here just had a free day off school today nice caught up on some math some politics homework been a good week so far awesome felix stay up to date stay up to date stay on top of your classwork for sure mr mr hezekiah good how are you doing well thank you very much how's it going man jjc says felix been doing a lot of drawing as well very therapeutic drawing is amazing drawing is i don't do but the writing for me was very therapeutic and reading comic books is very therapeutic <laughs> coolio it was on the stream you were uh corrected oh were you okay it was a music lyrics was it a music lyric stream man i can't believe i kept on saying it the wrong way king chicho was back holden who's how are you doing we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in these live streams in the boop -boop chat twitch is where you want to be at okay and for those of you who are following subscribing through twitch thank you very much for the support and mods as always thank you for being here i do announce these last streams 30 minutes before we go live on elo mines vk parlor gap and twitter for now okay so you can follow the work there and we do share additional content there as well not just comic book related but comic book related uh there is some there uh, for live streams where we don't have any visuals, we record on an external pal mic on an external recorder and we upload the audio to SoundCloud as podcast. So slowly we're going to build up our library there and there's a lot of live streams and 
ASMR videos and math videos that I do have uh, the external mic recording of that I will at some point I'm slowly loading them up on there so there's a lot more contact to, mon to come on SoundCloud and those audio files should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including Spotify and we will be uploading this video to YouTube and BitChute and if you want to support this work following liking sharing commenting um, and if you're on YouTube, joining YouTube membership is also a fantastic way to support this project. Aside from that, welcome everyone. Coolio, I got to move my car quick. Don't do the poll yet. Okay, we won't do it. I think Cheryl has been the one doing the polls, but I'm not sure if she's showing up today. And we're down to three comic books, so it should be an easy way to make a poll. When you come back, Coolio, let us know. I'm pretty sure he's already gone, maybe. Holden, who's just put in a job application to work at a movie theater nice there's going to be a lot of movie theaters closing down i'm assuming i hope you get it if you want it hope it goes well brother yeah me too me too and the ones the movie theaters that survive slowly they're going to get busier and busier i think she's driving at the at the moment she's driving at the moment okay okay i hope she's not driving too fast mr hezekaya chicho was there a particular comic that you read that got you into collecting comic books the first uh comics that i read were probably tintin okay asterix and tintin would have been the first uh comic books that i read and they're european comic books Bel belgium i believe uh but the first american comic books uh the one that really got me intrigued was x-men uh, and then i've gone through phases where I'm just gonna take these things down where I I pull out of comics and then come back into comics the main comic book series that got me into collecting comic books in a in a big way was flash the 1988 series because that's when I was older I was in university and when I read that series I hadn't been reading comic books for uh, a few years right through high school i read random comic books pre-high school elementary school i was reading some comic books comic books whatever i could get my hands on during the comic book uh, high school period i read some comic books i wasn't really collecting uh, but the one that really got me into collecting was the 1988 flash series i think that series was mature it was depressing it was heavy it was different than what i remembered comic books being so it got me really interested and then it was the independence once i went to the independent world there's no turning back birdie here i am reading venom lethal protector at the moment this is the first time i have read a comic really enjoying it awesome birdie here and man you're in for a ride if you're enjoying comic books you enter the comic book world realm Oof, it's it's a ride and a half it's beautiful it's exhausting it's depressing it's makes you angry makes you happy it's everything holden who's tintin i love tintin growing up i own several of them i'll post them later in the score awesome awesome i still have the tintins uh that they came with me from iran they're the iranian version with the text on them and uh i sh i put out a video showing that the first com the comic books that really got me my the oldest comic books i have in my collection which are the tintins uh, and i shared the story of the tintin comics and stuff felix i was planning to go uh, to the movie theater on saturday since it's my birthday but the movie movie's release date got delayed unfortunately which movie were you going to go see felix i started reading tintin in the third grade yeah early on me too i'm back coolio right on Mr. Hezekiah, WB, WB, WB. What's WB? WB, WB. I don't know, Elder God. I just found out that your El Topo director was supposed to do the original Dune. Yeah, Elder God. Dune movie before Lynch did it in 1988. Yeah, and people, and f supposedly it was the cost on it was becoming so much uh, because uh, Drogowski, I forget his name warner brothers warner brothers uh 
Dujugowski, I, I can't pronounce his name. Um, he was the, the proposal of him to make the movie was just going to be astronomical in terms of cost, so they went with Lynch. I was able to get Tintin in the Congo, which got banned. Really, they banned uh, Tintin in the Congo. Oh, welcome back, welcome back, WB. Nice <laughs> Warner Brothers, <laughs> Coolio said, and also welcome back. Oh my God, so good, <laughs> fun. So we're not going to wait for Cheryl. Should we make a poll? I could also do it as well. I think. Um, let let me uh, Coolio, Elder God. Let me know if you guys want me to make the poll. I think I looked into it before. Mm, maybe. I think you just got to go. It is just poll. Yeah. I think you do is it uh, I think it's um, backslash pull and it brings you up Felix I was gonna see the King's Man a prequel set in World War one uh, to the Kingsman series oh really I think it's actually based on a comic book series. it is the Kingsman series is based on comic books they banned the Congo uh, book because uh, how uh they drew the people that lived in congo kind of oh really i didn't know that cool to know interesting i got seriously into calvin and hobbes is fourth calvin and hobbes is absolutely brilliant i've read every single calvin and hobbes comic strip because i had the books the collected works and i've read them multiple times you got it coolio awesome disillusion how are you doing welcome welcome can you spread the comics out so i see the full title sure this is by the way here is uh, let me give you the intro for these things before we set the poll up so gang here are the comics that we're going to be reading or we got a choice to read i have common uh, commemorate the book it's great it's amazing the first book is or one of the books is crime does not pay number 116 okay this book is from the golden age of comics came out in 1950 okay and this is lev gleason publishing and mainly i was interested in the dawn a uh, john dillinger story in here okay and it should be i forget how many pages it is the john dillinger story is a nine page story okay and crime does not pay uh lev gleason was one of the main publishers from the golden age of comics and they were known for crime does not pay and daredevil and um what was the other one the other one uh, i made a note here uh, airboy okay airboy and some other comics that they published okay so crime does not pay from 1952. we got kit colt outlaw kit colt 107 from 1962 okay and kid cold is the longest running western comic book series ever it went from i have the dates here what did it go from it went from it was published from 1948 to 1979 with some reprints in the 1960s and stuff the cover for this the pencils are uh jack kirby the inks by dick Ayres, okay the story in this comic is uh, Stan Lee and a lot of Dick Hare's artwork as well as Jack Keller. And there's one other person um, that I forget what the, uh, what his name is, uh, but I'll bring it up uh, if we do decide to do that one. And the third book that we have is Exo Man of War number one from 1992. And this was from, the Kid Colt is from 1962. And Exo Man of War is 1992 is from valiant comics okay first appearance of exo man of war pretty important book one of my favorite series it's a fantastic series it's one of the books that really blew people away uh, in the 1990s with the emergence of valiant comics and the cover is done by uh, jack layton i believe let me check this out make sure uh, da -da 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 it could be i don't think it's barry windsor smith no uh i believe it's Leighton, the signature there but i'll pull it up pull up the info if we decide to read this one okay to follow it so those are the three books that we have to choose from okay 
and what we're going to do is we're going to run a poll to see which one of these we're going to read and these books except for this one this was a comic book haul we did um in the last few months anyway okay um, that i showed you guys in a comic book haul but these two comic books are two of the comic books we decided to read when we did the set up the fourth reading set that we said we were going to read 32 books 16 was my choice 16 was reader's choice viewer's choice subscriber's choice right i have the hardcover edition the calvin and Hobbes. that's my horse that grand does not do i'll put the pull together as soon as you're done introing the comic sound good sounds good coolio i love that cover art thanks for that uh, no worries brother just keep your sword at the ready so how much we're in we're 15 minutes in let's run the polls gang let's see which comic we're going to choose and coolio set the poll for like a couple of minutes i think two minutes is plenty for people to make a vote because we only have three comics right my vote goes to exo man of war don't know too much about comics but it looks cool it is very cool okay and as soon as coolio runs it and the poll is running gang i think we got two minutes to make votes okay and you can place your vote you make uh, the little circle you dot it and you cast your vote Boop. and right now exo man of war is at three and crime does not pay is at one so exo man of war is at four so a lot of votes coming in for exo man of war crime does not pay is at two and kid colt is still in the gate hasn't left no votes for kid colt this is so much easier when there's only three horse rings right <laughs> i wanted to put the years but the option uh have cleared the limits nowhere the years are this kid colt is 1962 silver age of comics crime does not pay is 1952 the golden age of comics and exo is 1992 modern comics and exos got five votes now and crime does not pay as a three three votes okay so we're halfway through exo man of war is winning right now so if things do not change we're going to read exo man of war uh crime does not pay is only two behind and kid colt is uh i don't think it's happening during this reading uh okay look at the top of the chat screen yeah look at the top of the chat screen there's a little arrow you can press it come on classic comic fans oh crime does not pay is at four it's catching up four crime does not pay exo is at five okay it could go either way we're down to about 30 seconds gang if you want to cast your votes you cast your votes let's get a five five tie <laughs> and then we're gonna run two man rigs i should have brought a coin i should have brought a coin if it's a tie uh do we read them both I, <laughs> coolio i don't think we'll have time to read them both crime does not pay is a longer read than exo i believe okay because it's golden age they did a lot of reading exo wanted gang five votes four votes poor kit colt with jack kirby dick Ayers, uh and stanley didn't get any votes oh no oh no <laughs> exo man of war it is game exo man of war let me put these guys here let's read exo man of war let me put this guy under it so elder god is like no elder god on the bright side in the next comic book reading there's only two choices now it will be either kid colt or crime does not pay unless we introduce another reading unless we introduce another book okay xo by one vote xo by one vote next time i'll make it three minutes for more suspense yeah three this one it was only three votes so uh crime does not pay on oh, nemo smokes too late too late we only made a two minute vote because we're 15 minutes in right i want to make sure we get the reading in and the suspense it was the suspense you've got to figure out which one we're going to read gang okay so I'm gonna do the prep here gang I'm gonna take down our notifications by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs okay I'm just gonna take off the notifications so they don't pop up during the reading because this is really about focusing on the reading okay I'm sorry man I'm cooking in my 
as we're covered in food, Nemo says. <laughs> Where were you, Elder God is asking him. <laughs> food cover hands. Don't touch the computer with food covered hands. So I'm going to take off the notifications. Gang, I'm taking off chat. And I'm going to take off this um, camera. So I'll be back after the reading and uh, uh, just to close things off when we can talk about the comic if you'd like. You could have used your nose. <laughs> Coolio says. Okay, let me take this off. And, and the chat is off already. Okay, very cool, very cool. And I'm going to just do a quick little intro for this. Those were emergencies. <laughs> Those were emergencies. And I've got this in Mylar because it is an important book. You can get it uh, not a bad price right now. We'll see where it goes. Chicho Bedtime Story, Holden Who's. Fun. Comic book reading. Got to love it. Got to love it. Okay. And I'm just going to give a quick little intro as to who's in this book and stuff like this. And then we'll get into the reading. And I'm not sure if this is the one of the exo copies that i have that i read or not okay hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading and today we did a poll because we are live streaming this comic book reading and we had a choice between three comics and exo mana war number one won the poll that we ran and we're gonna end up reading this book from valiant comics okay and this is a book that came out in 1992 and it's one of the books that we chose to read when we did the sort of the reader's choice viewer choice subscriber choice for reading set number three where i picked 16 books to read and you guys picked 16 books to read and i can't remember if this was one of my choices or one of your choices but i'm very happy to be reading this and this is again it came out in 1992 by valiant comics and this is the first appearance of this character exo man of war okay eric now it's not the first appearance of the exo armor the exo armor the suit that um, eric is wearing made his first appearance in the first comic book series superhero comic book series that valiant comics put out um, aside from the gaming comics that they put out and i believe the first appearance of the exo armor was in magnus robot fighter it was the backup story of magnus robot fighter with the raw crossover so i believe it occurred in exo in magnus robot fighter either six seven or eight i might it might be number seven okay um it was i used to know this by heart and i tried to find it on a couple of websites uh just before the stream because i wasn't sure if we we're gonna this was gonna book that was gonna be chosen to read but i couldn't find it speedy gonzalez style so i'm just going by memory here okay now this book is near mint condition i'm going to crack it out of this and this is the mylar bag that i put it into okay and let's take this out and take a look at it without the glare of the mylar bring it out and i'll let you know who the creators for this comic are Take a look at this thing and this book was it, it it was groundbreaking really uh what valiant did in 1990s was groundbreaking when they came up with their superhero line all in the same universe right and the creators of this comic book okay uh the main character is eric of dacia i hope i'm pronouncing that right so valiant hardcore valiant comic book people might uh not like my pronunciation of this okay and this was co-created by jim shooter and steve Inglehart, and the art is by bob layton and barry windsor smith okay 
the inside art um, I believe I don't think the cover art I believe the cover art is by Bob Layton okay what we're gonna do let's flip this now I can if you take a look at this this is a beautiful condition I would give this a 9.6 and Valiant Comics had this issue with the edges here right where most of the books have this cut on them okay so this would be you know 9.4 9.6 is there let me see if there's any dings on this what you can do is just run your finger along the edge yeah i would give this 9.4 possibly possibly a 9.6 the edges are nice and sharp beautiful okay really and this exo armor is pretty unique in the comic book world of what it is but i'm not going to give you guys any spoilers a double dragon explosion for your nes and game boy nintendo acclaim and acclaim the gaming company ended up buying valiant comics in the late 1990s okay and they tried to do a relaunch of valiant but 1990s were a crazy period for comic books they uh, even marvel comics ended up going bankrupt and uh, they got bought out by toy biz i believe even jim shooter uh, in the 1980s was trying to make a bid for marvel comics and then marvel comics did fantastic and wall street does what wall street does it ran it to the ground and the industry went through a bubble and bust and there was a major collapse of the comic book genre okay so we're not gonna flip through the book oh this is beautiful look at this but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the back i'm just gonna make sure there's no because all the information that valiant puts out regarding who worked on the title and this is this is rye number one this is harbinger number three okay exo man of war number two and this is basically comics that were available the following month on sale in december this is exo man of war number two magnus the robot fighter number 10 solar man of the atom number seven so magnus was really the first comic that superhero comic that valiant comics put out and i'm just gonna read the we're not gonna try to avoid the last few pages of the thing but this is written by jim shooter let me show it to you jim shooter and steve Englehart. okay layouts are by barry windsor smith finished art is by bob layton and john haldridge colorist is george um gonzalez gonzalez okay uh letter letter was jade and editor was david uh d david perlin okay now let's have a read through this and we're going to go through all the pages for sure and this is uh choppers too rescue or survive get ready jvc is here with hot new games jvc was making games i didn't even know that crazy i had no idea jvc made games even though i've read this, this book i guess i must have forgotten save the hostages save the world oh my god Cool. Chopper 2. Cool. So, gang, should we read this? And this is Eric of Dashia. Okay. And beautiful art. Valiant Comics in the 1990s. It 
you couldn't miss their artwork like they were so unique on the way they presented the pages the panels the coloring uh, while a lot of people were going digital valiant comics was doing a lot of old school style of comic books very cool very cool so i'm not going to give you any spoilers on this we're just going to read this okay exo man of war retribution part one into the fire and the only spoiler i'm going to give you is this if you had stayed up with the valiant universe you were reading their comic books okay these creatures here you would have known from magnus robot fighter and solar man of the atom okay but since and we have read magnus robot fighter number five by the way we did a reading of that with uh, the flip book and we flipped through magnus robot fighter number five which was a sort of a double flip book where uh, we read the first appearance of rye okay and we read some other valiant comic books as well so exo man of war retribution part one into the fire This time, I have to think to break the heart skins with. Or this time, I have a thing to break the heart skins with. And he's got himself a little axe. And this is the main character, Eric. Okay. This time, their juice flows. This time, I will kill them all. Awesome. They fear to make firelight lest they harm their house but i have harmed it i tore loose this thing it is hard and sharp This time, it is Eric, the soft skin, who keeps his juice. Their juice splatters and pools on the floor, but I will not drink it. I am not like them. But soon, I will, I will have hard skin like them, if the map is true. Still, I will not drink their juice. I will just kill them. Now is the time to strike. Something has gone wrong with the hard skin. Something has filled them with fear. Many of them come to this house from outside seeking refuge. I hear them make the clack clack for fire, light, and hiss for soft skin and the fear, fear, tr fear, trill, all of, all at once. But I know not what this means. I do not care if the map is true, if this forgot, forgotten crawl tube brings me unsmelt to the place, then they, then they should fear I. He's just taking them all out. Oh, and we 
we should read the fine print here gang we got to read the fine print exo man of war volume one number one february 1992 published by valiant a division of voyager communication jessica shooter president james shooter not jessica shooter james shooter president uh steve man manarski secretary office of publication 275 7th avenue new york new york 110001 copyright 1991 voyager communication inc all characters herein and the dis distinctive the likeliness thereof are trademarks of Voyager Communications Inks, all rights reserved, dollar ninety-five per copy, two fifty Canadian, U.S. subscription rate, twenty-three forty for twelve issues payable in U.S. funds, thirty thirty dollars Canadian. Print it. Where is it printed? It should be Canada. Let's check it out. Printed in the U.S. No similarity between any of the names, characters, person, and or institutions in this magazine with those of any person living or dead or any inst uh, institution is intended and any such similarity which may exist is purely coincidental cool. we jumped at a reading before reading the fine print we always read the fine print so eric is making his way through the alien spaceship through the tunnels Hurrah. I crust on their dried juices is like a hard skin over me I dreamt of this but it will take a harder skin to blunt their blows their fangs their fire there he's made his way to the exo armor this eric says this what good is this this will not cover me eric says hard but not sharp too heavy a thing to wield it cannot help me help it cannot help me kill them A hard skin nowhere to flee nothing to fight with the map giver said find a ring seize it pull it loose here then I have done fully as bidden but ah there's the ring right there right and here's the ring right here slips in oh what is this the armor surrounds him they risk making firelight here this must be a good skin eric says
this skin is stronger than firelight would to see if there is would to see if theirs is so it's just deflecting the laser or whatever it is they're firing at them right their spaceship is blowing put a hole in it look at that and these guys are called the uh, Arik calls them the hard skins right but they're called the spider creatures the aliens and they're prevalent in the valiant universe this is a good skin oh he says the way to outside is open outside is different than I remember but oh I want out and this skin carries me there this is a good skin Eric says or Rx says the house makes firelight if this skin will take me to the fangs that spit this firelight I will tear them loose he says he's just destroying the ship right Bam, blows it up falls to earth zoom in and read the text so he lands in the snow and takes off the hat let's see what he says the house gone in the ball of fire when I tore loose its fangs the fire inside them turned on the house itself the heart skins are dead the map giver too worthy is his spirit off I want this skin off he just walks away It was a good skin I wanted for a walking place underfoot after the house was gone and it brought me here. It just leaves it behind. This outside is much more like I remember. Soft skins. But not like me 
their chatter makes less sense than hard skin talk i will talk i will take their food they will they will run away or i will kill them they do not run they bring me more they are crazy but the food is good they had better bring more New York now we are truly at risk Prather the disintegration of our ship of our fleet leaves few options Le leaves options nonetheless Lydia and we will not lose heart we are more than a fleet and even cut off we are never prey we are the predators they say don't lecture me doctor I know how much we have left and how much death it represents on this world but I must regret the loss of our lifeline all we need all we need my dear is the exo armor and it was tracked to Peru the primitive has the ring but he cannot have gone far the primitive has the ring she asks pages. so he controls the XO the primitive has the br brain of an ox my dear he cannot conceive of what he has he is prey yellow sweet thing things grow on trees tehe trado una copa de agua arak this folk is dark eyed dark skin dark skin they speak like spring thawed book brooks what place is this it is not my home Arak says or thinks Gra sis Mara Kitrabat Jador Erez Arak. I'm sorry if I can't read this properly, gang. I don't read Spanish. Unca e mi vida he visto un ombro como tu. Erez ma como un angel cado del silo pragua tal otra vedel amilo mat mata <laughs> i have no idea what we just read <laughs> brutal chicho pronunciation my god The ring pulls her eyes 
like she pulls mine Mara Mira may be another tribe but her skin is soft how long since I loved the woman ten sons Olarak listo para el vaho vaho track adios arek at last i make the trek to their city maybe i will find the wizard there to tell me where i am and how to find my folk someone will tell tell me by laughs arm this i swear el mio penso de mi car caletos e de mia chacas un dia hermanito do estas da interesada en que pasa mira maria the kids looking uh, away que esta esto ah, looks like there's helicopters coming half a day in the city already and no sign of a wizard's palace only more heat and worse air the litters of the heart skins never breathe smoke like arak arak that's the kid get a toss kid came after arak Que es los helicópteros matado mata ron topas maria heart skins eric runs back oh, there's a slaughter i run as fast as i could but I am soft, soft. After ten sons in the Hartskin's house, I have taken too long. Nothing could have saved the folk, but oh, that I could have caught the Hartskin's while they, they yet fed. Look at the people. The spider aliens, they suck the people dry. Right? They grow slow themselves when they suck the juice. The juice. Oh, look at this. Look at that. It's Maria's head. Uh oh. Mara. her head that's her oh wait a second the ring look at that was that in her hair
the ornaments. Right? Check this out. There's a thing, not hers, in her hair. I have seen it in the house. Oh, what is this? It speaks in my own tongue. Oh no, it's not the ring. We have the Exo Armor, Eric. Leave the ring for us here and walk away. We will feed on your friends no more. Oh, so it's just a, it wasn't the ring. It's just a, basically a note they left for Eric. Eric. They threaten me instead of killing me. They fear me. Eric. They fear the ring. The ring is part of the good skin. The ring talks with a voice in my head, telling me where they're, they've taken the good skin. It's brother, North. Arak says, oh no, look at the villagers, the people have survived. They don't know what's going on. North, North just keeps on walking Northampton Massachusetts I don't understand your problem Ar Aristides if you've located the primitive again why not handle it yourself why drag me into the sunlight he's coming this way Lydia So Eric is walking up from Peru towards the US. Well, he can't drive a car or fly a plane, so he must be walking. How long do you suppose it will take him to walk to New England from Peru? Long enough for him to learn more about the rain, perhaps. Us. haven't I told you how stupid he is he's a barbarian even by earth standards you've told me he says but he's a barbarian who's tasted power. He's giving our task for fits. The exo suit is man of war class. Even now it fights to be free as long as he's in touch with it. The point is taken and we do not need the ring as soon as possible. All right, let me pr propose a piece of treachery, she says. Look at Eric. He's just hiding, making his way up north. He has a destination to get to. spider aliens it is good to have taken those skins off now I'm able to move Arak says I hate these things but if they make firelight for the heart skin they'll make firelight for me he doesn't like the guns the lasers 
the weapons they use. Here's the alien's base. Look at that. Lydia, this is costing me denizens and I don't like it. Yes, there's new smoke rising from the south and their phone has gone dead. If he kills enough of my uh, perimeter guards, he might get his hands on something. Wait a minute. They look so big through the <laughs> through this hole. <laughs> so easy to hit, he says. <laughs> Such a barbarian. Awesome. Ooh close it up and that's one thing with the valiant comics I'll, I'll mention this they didn't do sound effects a lot of the other comics we read they have sound effects these guys don't do sound effects they let the imagery represent the sound right Boom. blows up the helicopter see this thing Malache? Malache, are you there? Malache. Good. Primitive. You're in my web now, she says. Nice paddle work. Another city. Says, how many can there be? He's just walking around naked. <laughs> Check this out. Que tal hombre es mo listo, eh? Was dann sprichest du kein Spanisch? De bist du Deutsche? Deutscher? That moment's chatter <laughs> is much like the sound of home. Ah. That's because Deutsch is. Uh, Iraq is uh, from the European continent, I guess. No, you are American, yes? You speak English? I don't know we ever see anyone so ready, huh, Jackie? <laughs> but this one sounds like a raven again. Can the one with hair like mine know my folk? What's he grunting about? One of the prostitutes says. Maybe he can't talk. Ah, uh, baby, we can play king of, king of the jungle if you wanna. If you got money on you somewhere. This one is very kind. She makes me think of Ma Mara. The alien jumps out. Die scum. One of the hard skins sheriffs. I hated them so much in the house. 
Arak is an amazing fighter, by the way. Look at that. I will not go back. shouldn't give me such a good grip on your head your neck is too weak huh crack he's gonna break it he did break it <laughs> look at that crack done for you see one of the ones with poison in their teeth no he has no green stripes on his clothing thank you lo i am very fortunate and l-u-g-h lo that's uh like uh cron crom for conan right one of their gods lo magnificent my man truly magnificent someone says more chatter Arc, thanks magnificent my man truly magnificent who was this who was this I came looking for local color, but you su surpass my wildest dreams. He talks that third tongue, the one that sounds like ravens. What does he want? Listen, you better let me have a look at that wound. It could get infected, you know. Look at the size of them. Good shadow placement. <laughs> he clucks like a woman over my wound. Puncture wounds, the worst kind. That needs dressing, he says. Look at the alien just dead there on the porch. The prostitutes are like, what the hell? Will you come with me? I can buy what we need. He is very bird-like, like a wizard. Maybe he is the one I've been seeking. First thing we've got to do is get you clean the water is actually pretty decent here it won't give you any more bugs my name's Ken by the way what's yours with these strange oils and rituals he must be a wizard Arak thinks well you could have knocked me over with a feather. I mean, people are generally so short in this country that I look like King Kong. But why does he not? begin his wizardry ah uh, 
he wants me to sleep here it is hard sticks and too short the only other bed I have to offer you is mine but I guess that's not for you I guess <laughs> maybe I must be completely refreshed <laughs> it's like sleeping in the, this little cot thing Gross. well good night if you get too cold uh, he's making a proposal to exo to arc like all wizards he knows little of warriors i can sleep anywhere but with the fighting i've done and the light fighting i will do i was better off in a comfortable place darn it don't tell me he ran away holy jeez don't do that will you if I wanted some brute to growl at me in the morning I'd buy a st. Bernard he went under the tree behind the planter you're really on somebody's hit list aren't you you've got a couple of I've got a couple of ideas about that he says I have not been without a beard since first it sprang from my face but this land is so warm I do not miss it ha now he brings me to the soft skins houses now the wizardry wizardry begins so you just look like pro wrestler look like a pro wrestler and once we get you out of the country you'll really be safe Ken says. I'll wager this is one of those houses like the heart skin a house that wizardry makes move listen you're probably nervous probably don't understand a thing about flying he's got his hand over rx uh, army eh? and there's the exo ring But so long as we hold on to each other, we'll be all right. That's a very attractive ring you're wearing. Do you mind if I? He's looking at the EXO. No. RX thinks. Look. He just pushes him back. Look at that. Is there something the matter? The stewardess asks. asks uh, no, no. My drink just went down the wrong way. Wizard or not, this ring is mine, Arik thinks. New York. They land in New York. I have never seen so many people of all different folk Arik thanks gross it's not time for gracia yet big fella not while you're a fugitive and I've got a got an underground to tap into wait right here while I make a phone call
Thank you, Ken. Oh, he's working for these guys. Look at this. Maybe he's working for these guys. This house annoys me. Even in the Heart Skins house, there were not so many different folk. I will walk north. Whoa, big guy. Where are you going? I've got us a, a place where you'll be safe. Kansas. I wish he spoke my tongue. He has been very kind, but the voice in my head says north. I follow the ring. What? Oh, something something about the ring he's just pointing to it gracias amigo he is one of those men who loves men i do not understand them but they can be good wizards he has brought me far north someday i will bring him great reward hey people are watching ken says gives him a gigantic hug <laughs> an auric i do not understand them but they can be good wizards Amigo, amigo Ken, amigo Ken. Look at his head, huge. Ah, oh, hell, Ken says. Take a look at the whole the couple of pages, see what's coming, All right? Let's take a look. He doesn't understand, but no, he does walk north. Listen, big guy, I know you don't understand, but this isn't a nice world. It probably wasn't when the spiders took you off this planet but it's got to be worse today we've all got to do things we don't want to do just to survive my life's been so my life's been no bed of roses Ken says I got an MBA went to work I was ambitious okay I did I didn't know who my bosses really were by the time I did Kansas I figured so they were weird so a lot of people think I'm weird so hell I can't do this listen to me understand me you've got to run away they're going to kill you Ken says maybe he does understand me this is good Arik thanks something's going wrong I think the little ones betraying us on my signal we attack the spider aliens say. so Arak was gonna or Ken was gonna uh, betray Arak and bring him to the spider aliens right
now on. Oh, they're coming out with the machine. Heart skins. Ken is hurt. Oh, they shot him. How can they have found me after I came so far north? They nail Ken. Look at that. Even a wizard. Oh, they blew up his arm. Look at that. Even a wizard can be stunned when he is hurt. Then his friends must help him. My arm, Ken says. He has never fought the hard skins. He knows nothing of their uh, cruelty. I have fought them, Arik says. I must beat them fast now or Ken will die. Big guy, no. I have a clear shot at the decoy, Commander. Forget him. Forget everything except the primitive. He dodges well for having only two real legs. I guess they had to develop that before they got civilized. But I can blanket the area and watch what you're doing. Those are gasoline through truck. Those are gasoline tr trucks, he was going to say, and the whole thing blows up. Boom. messy but effective he must be dead the spider aliens say but what if he what if it melted the ring nonsense you cannot harm exo armor heavy things on top of me i cannot rise but my juices are still mine and even now the voice of my head calls north He's like totally buried in fire. I cannot go north. I need the good skin here. If I hear it, will it hear me? The edge, the edge. The exo armor is breaking loose. Aristides what's happened what 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 happens eric is in trouble so the skin's coming to him that's impossible it's our technology we control it but it has designed to adapt to its owner i told you i told you the barbarian had tasted power It's free. The exo armor escapes. The voice in my head is no longer whispers north. It no longer whispers north. I can hear it clearly now crying yes 
The Exo-Armor is happy he escaped his captivity. Right. Yes! Yes! Boo! Flies out of the building. The good skin, it comes, our excess. It kicks the heavy things away from me. <laughs> nice. Exo Man of War. What happened? Did someone else shoot at him? No. Lydia's calling. It's the Exo Armor. The X. Oh. The aliens just figured out what the hell's going on. Again, the good skin wraps around me like a bear skin. But this is a bear that still that still can bite. Where are you going? What are you what are you doing? You cowards, it doesn't matter if he has the armor. He doesn't know how to use it, one of the aliens says. Does he have to know? It knows. We made it and we made the weapons which will destroy it. I must jump away from the firelight. Mark, thanks. But I have jumped and cannot come down. I do not like this, and yet the jump carries me closer to the fire maker. I have it grabs it so you just learn how to fly it and the heart skin inside <laughs> look at that he's sitting behind the console controlling the I guess the war machine right alright just tears it open through this long panel let's see what we got but I cannot reach him my jump has stopped and I cannot move forward backward or anywhere I float like a dead dog on a lake arc make me move law make me move make me you're mine now primitive there was no need for you to die, no need for you to murder and humili hum humiliate my denizens. Like so, I don't worry, just standing there, or floating there. His clack clack, I have heard it before. 
his was the sound and the thing from the from Mara's hair oh he sucked her juice he's the one that left left the message for uh, Arik, right? He must die at my hands, Arak says. No need for you to die, but watching your death will afford my great pleasure. I catch his exo caught. Twist, twist and turn as you will in the hands of my techno controller. What's this guy say? But we are the predators, and you and all your kind are nothing but prey. He must die at my hands, Exo says. And my hand makes firelight. My hand cut off his hand. This is truly a good skin. And Arak is truly a fool for almost losing it. Die by my hand, hard skin. Die with, with your hands. Die with your house. Just breaks through the glass. Bam. And die with your hard, hard skin. Arik is pissed. Put me down, you primitive. For Mo Mora, for Ark. <laughs> Just grabs his head. <laughs> Die, he says. Die. Wishes his head, juices everywhere. What do you think, Mac? Some secret government? plane or dope deal gone bust probably gang warfare tommy there's was supposed to be a bunch of guys in fancy colors but hey people exaggerate there's a cops checking out the <laughs> destruction
Now, Lydia, now I admit we face risk. All that savagery in our best armor. Prather, we must plan. The last two panels of the page with the comic, right? Let's see what Arak is thinking. I knew Ken was a wizard. Most men would have let their spirit fly away uh, with their arm, but he has clutched his spirit tight. I have avenged you, Migo, you and Mora, and all the others. Now that the crowded house is behind us, I will find you a healer. still alive growl growl oh my Saint Bernard I like it <laughs> he's in love with Exo awesome when the hard skins took me from my home I could not make them die but with this new skin I can with the new skin, I am the strongest one. With this new skin. Arik rules. Awesome. Excellent first issue for the beginning of an epic right of an epic introduction of one of the most important characters in comic book history really fantastic fantastic and Jim Shooter at the back of every issue of the early Valiant comics he would uh, write a letter and talk about uh, what was going on in uh, with Valiant Comics? Tweez, tweezed, tweezing. Back formation featuring Tweezer, 1985, to examine closely and correct flaws, especially minute flaws, minute flaws. Asked the design director to the ad layout. Tweezer. Frank Zappa, 1985, a critic, especially one particularly cautious of detail or fine points. Janet Jackson, Valiant's design director, is a tweezer, I guess. You will hear tweez in its various forms. Check this out. You'll hear tweez in its, well, let's get this focus. You'll hear tweez in its various forms a lot around here, i.e., did Bob tweez edit jim's script yet these photo cast fo photo stats will be fine once their tweez touched up ask that tweezer perfectionist emily to proofread this letter he's a good penciler but he needs some tweezing minor corrections you'll hear the word the most in reference to janet jackson janet jackson or jj as she prefers to be called is a superb designer a wizard like care technical expert on accomplished an accomplished editor the best colorist in the business and the pickiest tweezer in the universe she wants things right and this is jim shooter writes this and then signs it oh look at this next the grim truth about the industry right should we read this should we read this let's check this out let's have a read through this gang I think we got time let's check it out let's make sure our live stream is oh yeah we got time let's read through this speedy Gonzalez style sometimes tweezer takes on a harsh connotation i.e that rotten tweezer picked me clean 
pick me clean headed on this job in fact that was a sense of the word as originally coined by Frank Zappa however no one would ever use that uh, pejorative sense in reference to JJ everybody knows that our constructive tweeziness is critical to our success me I'm known as the uber tweezer I can't imagine why <laughs> Janet tweezer hands was in reference to Edward scissor hands right uh -huh. drawn by Bob who drawn by Rod Ram Ramos Janet tweezer hands one of the biggest problems facing valiant from the start was finding enough creative talent to build the valiant universe it's not hard for independents to find the talents they need because they publish one shots limited series standalones and irregular titles short-term commitments are easy to come by but valiant isn't in, in isn't an independent we're we're a new major we're building a universe and that requires long-term commitment and dedication fortunately we had a nucleus of talented people around whom to build and fortunately we've been able to attract some outstanding creators who were willing to commit significant time and effort to valiant including such notables as steve ditko stan drake john dixon steve inglehart dave michelini and barry windsor smith others are present presenting themselves daily but comics take a lot of work and we knew we'd need many hands bob layton bob layton our stealth gandhi suggested early on that we should try growing some talent in a vat and so knob row was born he's here's how it works knob nah, row we review lots of portfolios the best and brightest potential stars are hired hired on as knob noobs i guess that's supposed to be noobs or knobs knobs bob calls them knobs because they say we have to turn them presume oh knob turn them turn them preserve preserve presumably from the dark side of the force as knobs they do a lot of the less glamorous work inking backgrounds under paintings tracing roughs they earn not too much though they always seem to have enough to party working closely with art development supervisor jade art director don pearl jj and bob they learn the craft as they learn they take on more and more responsibility until they're ready for solo flight george gonzalez for in, for instance has emerged as one of the premier color artists in the business watch for his work on exo man of war number one and his his talent doesn't end there soon you'll be seeing his name popping up all over the credits rob Ro tom Ryder, who's making his debut as an inker on magnus robot fighter number 10 and doing an incredible job watch for the names maria bakari bachari and john holdridge too and others i'll keep you posted a lot of our knobs come from the joe kubert school of cartoon and graphic arts by the way the most important thing they seem to learn there are professionalism good attitude and solid work habits if they've got those things and talent we can teach them the rest it's only a matter of showing them how giving them a chance and tweezing them here and there as they go and of course we are fully equipped with tweezers the constructive kind jj says i should add quote as one uber tweezer what does she mean by that and one uber tweezer uh -huh. 
Sincerely, Jim Shooter. Tweeze the knobs. <laughs> Psycho says in the live chat. And these were the whoop, these were the issues that uh, were coming up next month, December. Right? Rye number one. This Rye series was absolutely fantastic. Really. I think in my opinion one of the most underrated series there is Harbinger number three fantastic fantastic series okay. XO number two Magnus robot fighter number ten and solar man of the atom number seven awesome and a movie advertisement hook with uh, Robin Williams, right? And Double Dragon, nice, nice, nice. Awesome, fun read, fun read. I hope you guys enjoyed Exo Man of War number one, first appearance of Arik of Dacia and Exo Man of War from Valiant Comics fantastic I'm gonna turn on the chat for our live stream and uh, turn on the notifications and turn on my camera fun that was a fun read fantastic read I hadn't read this for so long so long but surprisingly I retained a lot of the info I think maybe because uh, there was a little bit of overlap with the 2012 uh, relaunch right a little different but the 2012 relaunch goes into a lot more detail as to uh, how Arik ended up finding the armor and you get a little bit of history of the armor and the it's it's beautiful okay and if you want to know the new lore of the exo armor from the 2012 relaunch read armor heart hunters it was a crossover that valiant comics put out with uh, it crossed over the first harbinger series the 2012 harbingers it actually crossed over all the 2012 uh, valiant titles that came out that was from the third relaunch i guess and it was an it ran across 18 issues and it is absolutely magnificent and uh and the mythology the lore that it builds up regarding the exo armor is absolutely brilliant really highly highly recommend highly highly recommend let me put this thing under here so we don't get the glare okay aside from that uh, i hope you guys like the read fun uh, yes cheryl how are you doing but i'm glad you were able to do it i was uh, double book for a while but so glad i could catch the end awesome cheryl glad to have you and coolio uh, ran the poll for us it was fantastic clap 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 my con elder god it's not been made into a movie yet no not yeah oh, you know what there was sort of a online uh ninjak versus the valiant universe that they made like shorts that were released on youtube but they weren't very good and man if they ever make an exo movie and i'm guessing they will at some point fingers crossed i hope they do, do it justice this is one of the best sci-fi uh stories around especially with superhero related coolio according to wikipedia exo man of war appears in a video game alongside iron man yeah there was a crossover of valiant comics and marvel comics where their characters uh crossed over in video games uh and exo man of war would kick iron man's ass he would he would just wipe the sidewalk with iron man <laughs> iron man couldn't do yeah tony stark uh, could not do anything tony stark was a little rich boy 
that paid for his armor Arak of Dacia is a barbarian warrior that fought to get this armor totally different game totally different game Coolio also from Wikipedia in September 2016 newly formed Valiant Entertainment announced a feature film centered around Arak of Dacia Exo Man of War Ex um, executives of the company stated that there were notable directors attached to the project and that the film will be true to the source material by April 2020 John uh, Sensa teased his involvement with the film via his social media platform really uh, I knew about two, 2016 when they were trying to do stuff and then there was shake up in the valiant company but this is to uh, 2020 now so pff, fingers crossed they do John Senna is everywhere in September 2016 uh, psycho says newly formed valiant entertainment announced a feature film uh, center around oh so this is the same one <laughs> you guys both coolio and psycho both went to wiki to find the duplicated elder god labs john cena the wrestler same as um, he's what do you call it in guardians of the galaxy isn't it he'd make a good barbarian he'd make a good barbarian i'm not sure if he'd make a good exo really i'm not 100 sure if he'll make a good exo um fingers crossed fingers crossed but Eric isn't the sharpest uh, crayon in the box. Stark will outsmart him. Um, my con, I uh, know, because Arik with the Exo armor blows away Iron Man, right? Arik is just a barbarian. He's a brute, right? He just to give you guys a little bit of history, like, and I'm giving you spoilers now. He got kidnapped by the aliens, and really, the the if you want to read the a grander history lore of the exo armor and stuff i would recommend the 2012 exo man of war series the valiant this night um, 1992 series the original series is fantastic really fun right but the 2012 one really amplifies the sci-fi aspect of it so i'm not uh, i don't want to give any spoilers on it is brilliant oh that's bad uh, batista in is uh, a drag and go yeah that's right so which one's uh, john sensa i don't know who john sensa is that's that's uh batista that's right of drax that's right sorry i got the names all confused and the rock is in a bunch of stuff too yeah maybe the rock the rock isn't brutal enough he's got a little bit too much comedic in him dave batista is a former wwe wrestler he plays drax and drax the destroying guardians that's right that's right i can see or hear john senza anymore without the audio from the meme with kid and recorder torture i gotta look up john senza John Sensa, <laughs> Coolio's laughing and me confusing everybody. I see Chris Hensworth, Knights of Old Comic, Chicho. What makes Exo such an important character of all time, in your opinion? I read one to ten or so when it came out, but don't remember much. It, it was is very unique character. It takes it from Earth, right, and introduces uh, science fiction sci-fi opera really about who the aliens are and really connects it up to mythology that is very original incredibly original and the exo armor i can't give i can't tell you what makes it so unique without giving you spoilers uh regarding the armor hunters crossover okay nice of old comic highly recommend reading an 18 issue um uh, armor hunters crossover from the 2012 relaunch of the valiant universe it really just kicks it up a couple of orders of magnitude absolutely magnificent really very unique 
John Cena is the rapper wrestler guy. I don't know. It's pronounced like Cena. Oh, John Cena. He was in Bumblebee. Oh, I saw Bumblebee. I can't remember Bumblebee. Okay, I gotta look this up, man. John Cena. John Cena. What does he look like? Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah. He would make a good uh, EXO. Yeah, that's right. He would make a good EXO. <laughs> he would make a great EXO, actually. So the aliens held him captive ever since early days of man. Or was he in some crypto sleep thing? Uh, Mycon, they gr they grabbed him. You have to read it, dude. I, I don't want to give spoilers for other people that want to read it. It would be good for the popularity of the movie, but I don't think John Cena is a very good actor. I don't know him as an actor. Look-wise, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. He wouldn't be as good as Eric. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. If the director and writer is good, though, it might make up for it. Yeah, a lot of people, for example, a lot of people really didn't like before Conan the Barbarian came out. Arnold Schwarzenegger is Conan the Barbarian, the original movie. But the original Conan movie is fantastic, right? It's Arnold Schwarzenegger's best movie. It's better than Terminator, right? Terminator was really good, but conan really put schwarzenegger on the map as an actor right cena acts in film like a wrestler in a ring does he yeah he looks pretty spot on but he's not really an actor oh that's too bad when are they going to make a really good video game movie a really good video game movie uh, you know gang uh i like sonic sonic movie was pretty good i enjoyed it it wasn't 10 out of 10 but it was enjoyable Conan and Durham were filmed at the same time with the same crew were they Elder God what they probably use the same desert save money right I wonder if there was the same company that produced them Sonic was a cartoon for years though yeah but there's a Sonic movie with Jim Carrey as the bad guy and it was pretty good I enjoyed it ah true that true that sonic was video game first it wasn't comic book first so true that Detec detective uh, pikachu was pretty good was it i haven't seen it <laughs> detective pikachu <laughs> hilarious gang should we call the stream let's call the stream same desert in mexico it was filmed in mexico i didn't know that cool 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 wreck it ralph is pretty good yeah actually that was fun but not really based on actual game yeah i want to see the you want to see that the which one the detective pikachu i haven't seen it i even know if there was a detective pikachu mortal kombat movie was pretty good i like that one the first one was really good that's true that's based on a video game so mortal kombat was fun and um um doom was good with uh the rapper the mars like doom was not a bad movie man like people were trash talking doom was good and uh what do you call it uh, uh vi not the virus uh <laughs> oh my god i forget it uh oh it's tip of my tongue uh, resident evil resident evil was pretty good doom was okay i like doom doom was fun low blow i said good movie coolie of stuff too <laughs> a mortal combat mortal combat was not bad it was pretty good doom well i like doom i like doom and resident evil was pretty damn good resident evil is fantastic 18th december i will be the first man in the cinema for doom ah really elder god it had the rock in it though it would doom was good man i enjoyed doom they can never do mortal Kombat justice unless the violence is a hyper realistic as the game yeah possibly they do have a new mortal Kombat coming out next year though video game or movie have you seen hardcore henry i watched it i didn't like the first person 
I was getting motion sickness everyone except doom to be done like that produced produced by Warner Brothers and the ending of doom when they had the first person it was really good man it's going to be insane I think hi there Chicho Fita Fita how are you doing hope you're doing well gang let's call the stream thank you for being here Moss thank you for taking care of business gang thank you for the conversations and the young pup coat will fit perfectly for new Paul actor yeah he does look like a young pup indeed have you read Valerian and uh, I've read one and the movie was not bad it was pretty good wait the Tomb Raider movies are based on the game yeah Tomb Raider I think uh, Resident Evil blows away Tomb Raider in terms of movies Resident Evil the first three were really good even the, the animated one was really good too fun true true nice gang I'm on patreon if you want to follow this work patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so everything is creative commons I don't put anything behind paywalls share and share a like patar plate plate <laughs> people laugh at the uh, street mortal combat now but for me 1970s child it was awesome when it came out it had great soundtrack crazy music for its time the special effects were 10 out of 10 and also back then people were still experimenting and it and it was one of the first attempts to put a vg on the screen and in my opinion this i think so too that if we're talking about the mortal kombat movie i think so too gang i'm live streaming on twitch you want to follow these live streams uh live watch these videos live participate in the chat over here twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo vk minds gab parlor and twitter you can follow the work there and we do addition share additional content there as well there's also alone in the dark movie I haven't seen it though I can't remember if I've seen it are we on movies next round uh, I'm not sure elder God I'm gonna try to do something I might do set up two or three live streams where we go through my boxes of video games I think it's the only way I'm gonna get to sort them because they're all over the place so I might bring all my boxes to the living room and we do like three days of streams in a row and we just open boxes and I show you what I got and then maybe sort of sort them out Maybe I'll have to watch the Mortal Kombat movie again. Add it to the next movie stream. Possibly. Your soul is mine. There was a uh, World of Warcraft movie. It was fun. That's true. I liked the World, War, World of Warcraft movie. That was a fun movie for sure. Though Mario Brothers was horrendous. Good idea. That would be fun. Video game stream. I'll see. I'll see. I gotta do some leg raises and <laughs> sit ups to strengthen my stomach because i gotta lift a few boxes <laughs> watch the mortal kombat series on youtube the indie one it was really good really okay okay uh we'll put it on our watch list uh for video for live streams where we don't have any visuals uh we will be uploading the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform as well and we've got a lot of videos hundreds that we're gonna be uploading there at some point over the next couple of years or so trying to catch on staying up with what we are doing and this video will be uploaded to youtube and bit and if you want to support this work you can subscribe you can share you can turn on notifications you can comment uh, and if you're on youtube you can support this work through youtube membership okay gang uh we don't mention more <laughs> well to god sense Cheryl's laughing they also made a movie of the hitman I like the hitman one actually the hitman was pretty good I think I've seen it Bleat, thank you for the stream I joined 15 minutes ago I missed it again it is hard for me to watch it is uh, 2 or 4 a.m. for me and I rarely stay that late I am lucky I still have my job Ma many do not many do not and my pleasure for the stream and gang thank you for being here and uh, I'll announce the next set of streams probably in about two or three days okay 
expect the next announcement to be made let's say by the weekend if not friday then saturday okay gang peace everyone exo man o war i hated the hitman movie i knew all the places they shot <laughs> they shot it in uh sophia bg i don't know where bg is bg 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 where would bg be where is bg sophia bg oh i don't know bulgaria oh wow sophia bulgaria i've been to bulgaria i like your country i think i've been to bulgaria anyway gang see you in the next set of streams or on discord of course right. bye everyone